Hello ladies and laddies, welcome to another crazy video from Jester De Rama. Yes, I'm a dork. Shut up, I know. Welcome to my channel once again, and this is probably the first video in a month or two, I think? Either way, um, this is actually an update video to let you know how I've been doing and what's to be coming up, and also probably, hopefully, tie up a few, not necessarily loose ends, but there are some stories that, well, I need to settle. But anyways, I shall list off the videos, or you can just kind of look at the slides, and this might make things a little bit easier to follow. And yeah, if need be, you can just, mm, yeah, you know, skip ahead over somewhere down here. No, I don't know how long this video is going to be, don't ask me, I'm not done recording it yet. So anyways, what's going to be coming from myself for videos to do? Well that will be more Let's Plays and Stream Plays, so you can look forward to those after I probably get done with the um, open games first. And when I say open games, I mean the games that I have not yet finished. So those will get finished soon enough. But I will want to edit a lot of things first, considering how much backlogging I have. So, other than just the video game side of things, I will also be doing Vines again, when they have a chance to, and try and script some little silly six second skits. Something like that. Something like, maybe what? Having to do with something? I don't know. Anyways, what I will also be showing you and I'm not sure if I'm using words extra again. You will see Hoity McToity this year because I do want to get that done and what it comes down to is making sure I have a good system for ratings and also make the whole thing look good. So, that'll come eventually. Following, or not, mixed in. Reactions and, re and reviews. You know, usual reactions to like certain videos, that type of thing and reviews, so I will at some point outside of Fighting McToidy and the note of reviews, I will be reviewing games, maybe, or movies. I don't know, I'll figure out something. But if you are more interested in the art side of things that I have done on Tumblr, for example, not only will I be posting on Tumblr, I'll also make sure I'll post on here. So anything that I would be posting like for let's say a week I would put up a video on here on the channel but that'll come as I actually draw more eventually maybe <laughs> I will draw again and I will explain why I will draw again but first I must follow with a conspiracy that is also a theory a conspiracy theory if you will have you ever heard of a conspiracy theory it's one the theory is actually a conspiracy. You will see a lot of things that I post are very interesting, but is there something hidden within? Who knows? I have a conspiracy theory, eventually. So that's going to be something new for you to look forward to for theory videos that may push the envelope or theory a little bit far, like certain game theory, <clears throat> guys, <clears throat> game theory, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> And, oh, <clears throat> sorry, 8-bit, <clears throat> sorry, had something in my throat. <clears throat> Anyways, you know Undertale, so do I, so does the whole internet, and so does every other fandom. In notes of Undertale, I will be doing a voice demo of the main characters and possibly the side characters. So expect the demo for that to come out soon if you are seeking someone for voices for Undertale. I could be your guy, I hope. <laughs> um, because, if not right away, you're kind of a little cautious about things outside of demo. I could do Panda Tail with Sans. You know, the jokey skeleton who always finds things humorous. Anyways, <laughs> that being said, there will be comic dubs for like the Undertale fan dubs. And,. If you donate a certain amount, and I'm going to set up, set up the system on Tumblr, and I will also mention it here on YouTube. For the Undertale comic dubs, I will be able to accept donations so that we may read, or when I say we, I mean myself, and Jitterbug Jive, wherever he may be, 
And we will actually try our best. And you know what? Let's not limit it to just him. There's actually going to be people from uh, all around if I can. We'll be able to make comic dubs for Undertale. So, donate a certain amount, and we could do the specific one you donated for. So, like, say, you have a specific comic, you donate $5, we'll read it. And character, of course. So, moving on from the dubs, I'm thinking... BT dubs. Uh, <laughs> sorry, thinking about cars. I was looking for a car earlier. But that'll have to wait. Anyways. You remember when I used to do the whole song thing? I'm still working on that. And especially the one for Five Nights at Freddy's. That one, you've heard before from the clip from my Five Nights at Freddy's 1 videos. And also in another update video somewhere, you know in the past there's probably over somewhere in this little playlist or something I'm assuming you're hopefully in a playlist so you can see everything it might have been one of the last ones so what was I also supposed to do as far as songs oh I also owe those on tumblr who donated a hundred dollars to me to get a new hard drive a song as sung by Dr. Hooves so I will work on that as well so there's the Five Nights song and the thank you song as the doctor and the thank you song is gonna be pretty much a karaoke of a song which is a song I'll probably find that will relate and make things well let's just say nice and a little word of, word of advice to live your life happily and live your life well as cheesy as that is and I do have some other ideas that are going on trying to get songs made or trying to add lyrics to certain songs. I'll work in contact with the artists, um, whomever, whomever they may be, sorry, whomever decided to give me a tongue tie or a bow tie and it didn't taste too good. Anyways, <laughs> so many tangents. In the games I have to edit from just my stream plays, my solo ones, um, will be Binding of Isaac, Rebirth, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, since I haven't finished giving you guys the rest of that latest stream, and also Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I mean, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Spooky's House of Jump Scares had to have their name changed to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion because of a House of Spookies that was saying, hey, you know, that's kind of a name, you can't exactly let it, we can't let you have that, I'm sorry. So then they decide, and when I say they, I mean the um, originator for the game, they just taped over the old um, like logo with the Jump Scare Mansion, so the old title's there, but just taped over for copyright reasons. Now you know, and that was another tangent. So, the games to finish, and I'm finally at this point for, from the list. The games to finish from that list will be Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4, since none of those have actually been finished, so, well, all the way through Night 7. I've only been up to, or up through, Night 5. Which is what friggin' this is supposed to be for. Oh, this watch I got at Hot Topic is about $10, but I got it half off because I bought something else at Hot Topic. It's a little LED watch. Now you know what time it is. Kind of. <laughs> well, it's 8.32. So, I think it's time I move on to tell you that I'm also going to be trying to finish Outlast. I am not 100% sure if I want to have that be myself and the Doctor. Or just myself and puppeting the doctor in for occasional comments. You know, character voices. I might just have it be myself and then have him pop in as a character voice for commentary because who doesn't like a crazy guy playing video games? <laughs> um, Amnesia. You remember that one? Um, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad pun, but I had to do it. I mean, I couldn't remember otherwise. 
Oh, wait a second. My screen went black. I will be finishing Amnesia because that was an early game I decided to latch on to because, well, everyone was doing it at the time and I just thought, I played the game a few times, let's have fun with it because I'm not scared of it anymore. Except when I'm running away. <laughs> um, Stanley Parable? You remember that one too, I hope. At least the narrator does for all the endings. I'll see what else I can pull out of Stanley Parable, but who knows where that might go and... I'll just keep you up to date, and then it doesn't matter. You'll 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 see. Um Oh, and beyond that, I have like multiple games now, thanks to all the friends who are so awesome and have donated games to me as gifts or just saying, hey, I saw this was on sale, did you want it? And like oh, you didn't have to buy it, but, okay, but thank you. I've had some friends who are really generous and I wanna thank every one of you. So like Skipper Otter, Morris Apple, Atem, Jolly Roger, Cirrus, and many others for any donations, whether money or gaming. And Night Guard Mod on Tumblr, a little shout out to you and another thank you to you as well. Thank you for being awesome and so energetic. It's really nice to see someone just really make a pinky pie in the group. That makes me happy. So, as my mouth gets dry, I need water. Ah, freak. Pardon me a second. There's never enough water in these. There's something between my teeth. Got it. I'm so glad I edited this. Anyways. Organization? What is that? Total Gamiax will also return. I want to mention very strongly, Brutal Gamiax, as hosted by Tiberius. If you go to his channel over here, you will see him doing his own videos as well as his Brutal Gamiax videos. He is just at like a few subscribers at the moment, but if you like, and I highly recommend liking, um, go ahead to his page, see what you think, and... He is pretty chill, but he's got a pretty good sense of humor. He's a very nice guy. He's my brother. So if you want to go to Tiberius's Fancy Rabbits YouTube page for Brutal Gamiax or his own videos, go right ahead. But since we have moved, and when I say we, that excludes Tiberius and of course my mother. I will talk about my mother shortly. I know you saw me go on and on about that in the last video. Since Tyler and I are separate, that kind of puts a hiatus on the Kirby's Epic Yarn and Kirby's Superstar for now, since we were working on those. However, from what I did record while I was still in Illinois with Tyler, that will still get posted up, but unfortunately a couple of the end videos, or the actual recordings, Towards the end of them, they started glitching out, so unfortunately, it may not play the full end, but it's just like the last 5-10 minutes of the recording, unfortunately, they get eaten up by garbled glitchiness. Now, I don't know why. It might be that that happened, but it happened, so unfortunately, you gotta work with what I get. So, if that's not enough for you, <sighs> lightheaded from all these games. Ponies with Pockets Productions subgroup, Ponies with Pockets Gaming, will proceed forward with Minecraft and Undertale. The Undertale play as the Doctor and Derpy playing. So Minecraft and Undertale, that will also be continuing on the Ponies with Pockets channel. But, and what was recommended to me before was replaying Undertale as myself on this channel. So you'd be hearing well, all the voices by me, and also all the gameplay. However, I will only have the knowledge of the true pacifist and pacifist run, minus all the pacifist endings and everything. So please do not spoil anything genocide-wise. I still need to get through that as the doctor before I get through that as myself. So please stay tuned and no spoilers, okay? And if you do want to suggest any further games that I haven't mentioned already, you can also go to another link, hopefully I can put this in the video, Google, you better let me, a link 
or go to jestergamesuggestions.tumblr.com where you as the viewer can suggest any video game so long as you warn me what's involved and I might play it. I already have a bunch of suggestions in the box as it is but I have not posted them because I leave these games in my inbox currently so that I may know what I'm looking at for what to do. Now, now that I said that, I might think it's a better idea to post what's suggested so that I don't accidentally delete any asks that were suggestions. So besides that, you probably noticed I have different colored hair. Oh hey, there's some blue. Originally this was a lot deeper blue and not so much the green fading like changeling look that it got. Yeah, some, most of it's gone right now. But I still got a good portion of the black in here. Yeah, I recently took a shower, so it probably doesn't help anything. So I decided to go a bit more buggy with my hairstyle, and now we're finding more in the personal section of things. So, anyways, what I was meaning to talk about with D, my mom, she did come in contact with me again about the last video, and along with her, I'm guessing, housemate, they went to my Jester de Rama fan page on Facebook and were talking about how it was wrong of me to air out dirty laundry and that there was misunderstanding. But the issue is if you have a problem with dirty laundry airing out more than what the actual dirty laundry is, you seem like you're a lot more concerned for your self-image rather than whoever is involved with that dirty laundry. Now, D did try to make an apology, but a lot of what was incorporated into it was a lot of passive-aggressive, backhanded compliments and backhanded like non-apologies. It's like, oh, but we did all these good things together, but this is where you screwed up, but this is where your friends screwed up. And I'm sure I'll get blocked now, so she was kind of playing like, oh, I'm going to be in the wrong, you're going to be doing all these negative things to me. That's a guilt trip. That's not an apology. I'm sorry, but... Mom, that was a guilt trip. And I can't respect that. And she did post photos, for example, like for the drape that might have been torn. You might see that somewhere. That was none of us having to do anything with it. The problem is with you, Mom, is that I couldn't say anything negative very often because anytime I did do a negative, you would try and have some kind of type of excuse or reason to justify why you're in the right, such as passive-aggressive only falling under the definition when in a workplace. And you're trying to say passive-aggressive doesn't apply if you're out of a workplace. Let's backtrack a little bit. Um, when we were trying to first use the fireplace in the old house, you were tearing up my old game informers because I was saying, I wanted to collect those, and you said, well, you're not use using them, are you? Or you're not going to be using them or wind them, right? So I'd be like, well, what's a collection? You don't exactly use them. So, well, that was just paper. Sure, whatever. I can accept that. I was like, we needed something to get the fireplace lit, and fine. I'll just let you have my old magazines that I wanted to keep. Um, believe me, there was like other times where I feel like if I said anything negative, she would get upset. So it was really hard for me to come forward to her when talking about my boyfriend Jack. Mom, you would constantly say, don't tell Jack about this, don't tell Jack about that, uh, work on, on how to tell Jack that. You were relying on me to talk to Jack for everything when I was telling you, communicate, we're all adults, you don't need to be treating me like a parent that's talking to another child. That's kind of how it felt, like you would talk about him behind his back and you'd be saying, well he kind of cooked with too much lemon, I didn't want to say anything. But that's the kind of way he felt, is because he, he felt if he said anything, you would react like it was the worst thing in the world and you would be more upset by it. That wasn't healthy in the way you responded. You didn't respond in a healthy way. So that's why we never had a good communication for a while and that's when I realized maybe we won't connect as well as we did. So I'm sorry mom, but 
we can't be in connection with any each other anymore until this I don't know how to describe this mom until you are actually better and not being passive-aggressive and narcissistic you were being narcissistic by the way you're still trying to justify yourself and being so much on the high and mighty chair or horse when you were kicking us out when you're kicking us out it didn't matter where we'd go. And I was asking, well, you're putting us on the street. Where'd we go? Well, you figure it out. Well, do you... How exactly is that not wrong? In the voicemail, in your voicemail, you said you did nothing wrong. And that I hurt you. So... You saying you did nothing wrong and that I hurt you... You totally ignored how I felt because of how you felt. I can understand you trying to say how you felt, but you did not even acknowledge how I felt. You did not acknowledge how angry and upset I was for what happened. You were just trying to justify yourself. A lot of what you do is trying to justify yourself because you are so low on your self-esteem you try and grab anything you can to even get any some like to get any sense of success for your side, whether it's good or bad. Because that's how it feels. You just try and take any chance you can to make sure that you're in the right. And like, if you were, mom, if you were watching me like make comments on an ar argument or in a debate, you would go and sit in the sidelines if I jumped in because you weren't able to properly communicate what was on your mind. To me, you just came off very, very codependent. And if something didn't go your way, or if I wasn't on your side, it would be the worst thing in the world. And I won't count the times that I had past, um, I guess you can say partners. I had a couple of ex-partners, people I dated, okay? So... When the first thing that happened was, I believe when I was in high school still, um, there was one girlfriend whom you were upset that I took them to my dad's, or to dad's, um, grill out, just because we're having a party and everything. For some reason, you were upset by the fact that I took her there, and I didn't get why. So then you said it wasn't because you weren't first, I mean, but for whatever reason, you were upset that I took her to my dad's first. Um, next partner. I was at their house an hour and a half away. Mom, you asked, when are you guys going to want to come over to my house? And you're, and I said, well, when we're comfortable, I'm not sure. And then you were saying, well, come up with a date. And I was, like, and I was saying, oh, I said, I don't know, I'll let you know when I'm ready. And then, for whatever reason, we got an, over an argument because... I couldn't think of a date and I wasn't sure of, so then you told me to just stay at the uh, partner's house because you were that upset with me. You have locked me out of the house before, and that was the instance you did lock me out of the house. The screen door was locked, and you were trying to find some way to deflect and say it wasn't you. That screen door is never locked, and I couldn't get in it, so I actually had to knock, and then you were trying to tell me to get out of the house because you were upset while you were cleaning. We've had multiple confrontations. Let's see, moving forward to one Jack was living in the house, it was just the three of us. You, me, and Jack. We had a missing can of beans that we found on the other side. You were wondering how it got over there, and I said you missed them on the other side. And you said those weren't over there before, and we confirmed they were, but you disbelieved us. Okay, another instance. Let's go forward a bit more. How about we talk about the carrot incident? Apparently Jack didn't know what the carrots tasted like, and he didn't like having syrup canned, canned syrup with carrots. Canned whatever, whatever the frick it was for the freaking carrots. You thought he ate the whole can, and then you were starting to look for it and everything, and when I found out, there wasn't a second can in the recycling. So it's like you got upset over me looking for a receipt because maybe you were kind of starting to get found out. Maybe you were found in, maybe you're trying to lie and trying to get me to be on your side and trust you more because you were thinking I didn't trust you anymore and then I trusted Jack more. Do you see how much stress this can cause? Mom, 
you got angry at me for showing you proof of the documents that were the originals for court. And you kept getting upset about it and kept thinking it was BS and for Jack and I to go F ourselves. Just because you were angry and you were upset that I wasn't hearing you or communicating with you when it shouldn't have mattered what copy it was so long as it was a copy to be shown in the dang frickin' court. Jack had no frickin' reason to take any papers from you and that's plain paranoia. You were paranoid that he took things that he didn't. What possible reason would he have to have anything to do with the paper? You even said, I don't know. Well, neither do I, and neither did he. He would have no reason to take your papers, and he wouldn't have no reason to take something without asking. He would do anything to be the proper person in a house that he is a guest at. Because he tells me he always has had trouble with being a guest in other families' houses. Hi. <sighs> Sorry, that was a lot on my mind. I needed to get rid of it. This is my last word to you, Mom. We won't ever get along the same way as we did before, because now we both see each other in two different personalities than we did originally. But, you know what? This is the real me. I have a voice. I needed to be heard, but you wouldn't listen, or you were too afraid to listen or you couldn't listen. That's why we were saying you needed help. Me and Jack, we're both getting help right now. We're both getting therapy and, well, medication. In the month of, let's see, April, end of April through May, Jack Jitters, Jitterbug Jive, or Bald Number Rat, whichever you want to call him, he had a manic breakdown and has been diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder. It was a month of him going in and out of his manic state that I had to be with him at all times to make sure he was okay. He's better now on medication and getting therapy. But still, that was a month that I went in the dark when everything. That, that's the reason why I hadn't posted anything on the Pockets channel or my channel. So, that being said... He got his help, and, well, I started to have an anxiety breakdown on my own after I finally let down my guard. After I let me down my guard, just all my anxiety, memories, depression, everything was catching up. So it got so bad to the point that over, not over, two weekends ago, so the week, so this is this week, last week, and the week before. The week before... I had gone into the hospital on a Friday night because my anxiety was so high and I was getting self-harm and harmful thoughts to the extent of suicide. And as heavy as that is, I really wanted to get some help and I, know, I knew I needed help. So over the course of that weekend, I was in between a few different rooms before I transferred to a group therapy area at another hospital. So. I got some of my own therapy to help bring me back down and also I'm not quite diagnosed with new things yet, however I am taking medication which is an antipsychotic and a different medication which is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So basically I'm taking an antipsychotic and antidepressant. That would be Zyprexa when I go to bed and when I wake up I take Prozac. And I know it's funny since my name is Zach. I'm not that pro though, but seriously, um, they are helping me get more order mentally and everything else. This includes these videos, and I'm actually starting to feel motivated and inspired to do my things again. So I guess there is something more going on in here that I need to check into, and I will find out as I go on. But I'll let you know what I hear. Let me check my notes if I forgot anything. So. If that wasn't enough for you for information, I think it's about time we wrap this up. And I'll say that I'll probably see you guys in the streams in the future. So, what do we do before we leave? Raise the purple! I hope you're satisfied with that cheesiness. So yes, I am Jester De Rama. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and I shall see you guys later. Bye-bye.